right, Mark, thanks a lot. We're here with Bad Busby and Warwick Dunn of the Seminoles of Florida State. And tomorrow, the biggest game of the year, number two Florida State takes on number one Florida. Come around, and it will be here on the Valvoline Halftime 96. Wow, Daffy Duck, you're the greatest. Oh, oh. Thanks. Take a tick. Sure, Daffy. Just need some ID. Are you serious? How many big cartoon stars come into the store? Checks are a pain, but your bank has a better way, the Visa check card. And if your ATM card has a Visa logo on it, you've got one. It automatically deducts from your checking account everywhere Visa's accepted. Lord, it's like a... Visa check card works just like a check, only better. What a maroon. Silver Bullet, the ship cold to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. Good boy. The new Coors Light wide mouth can is here with a giant opening for a smoother pour. If it's hard finding the right gift for your children this holiday season, don't worry. Radio Shack has the gifts that'll grab your kid's attention. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. While the Ford Contour is an engineering marvel on paper, who wants to stay home and read the paper? Experience the quick reflex multi-valve moves of a very different four-door sedan. Ford Contour. One drive will surprise you. Time 96, brought to you by Valvoline, the number one choice of America's top mechanics, people who know use Valvoline. From Tallahassee, John Saunders. Welcome everyone to Dope Campbell Stadium, site of the big game tomorrow, number one against number two. You saw it, Danny Werfel as we opened this segment. Of course, we were up in Gainesville earlier this week, but this is the place to be for the last two days. My partner Todd Blackledge has a chance to explore. We're here at Florida State University on the week of the big game. Now, on a week like this, there's so much more involved than simply the game itself. In fact, sometimes it's hard to tell who's more excited, the coaches and players or the fans and media. Now, earlier this week, we had a chance to watch and contribute to the buildup for this week's game. Tuesday at the University of Florida in Gainesville, your typical college day for both as students prepare for the holiday weekend. But for some here and at Florida State in Tallahassee, all is not peaceful. Everybody wants this. I have one. Sorry. Would you be comfortable in a shootout in this game, or do you want this to be a defensive game? I don't think you're going to see a big shootout. Uh, they got too good a pass rush. They got two. They're number one in the nation in defense. You knew that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. The task at hand for us today is a Tuesday practice, and then we'll have a Wednesday practice, and then Saturday will be the game. And that, that's kind of the, the mental focus that's, that's got us where we're at.
Yeah, I mean, this week has been real, real long. I mean, from, from Monday, I mean, we came down for lunch, and I mean, it was just people everywhere. So, I mean, just doing interviews and stuff like that. It's been fun early on the week, but now it's getting to the point where you just want to get out there and get it over it and play. Well, less than 24 hours from now, two of the three of us will be on the field. I'll let you guess which of the two, Thad Busby and Wark Dunn. Join me, Wark. Let's start with you. This game is so big, and you consider the fact that so many people thought you wouldn't be back for this game, thought that you were going to go on to the pros. This must have extra special meaning to you. Well, I guess it's definitely special because it's my last home game, and I, I definitely decided to come back and play for another year to hopefully do some good things. That when you look at the hype that surrounds this game, and Todd talked about it, maybe it's bigger for the media and the fans. Is it bigger for them, or is it just as meaningful and as exciting to the players? I think it's just as meaningful for us because, I mean, we've, we've watched it as we're growing up as kids and such a big rivalry, and it's been such a big rivalry here for so many years. And, uh, I mean, it, it's big for us because we've got a lot of players on the other team that we're friends with. And, I mean, it's going to be exciting, but uh, I think the fans get into it a little earlier than the players do. How do you feel coming into a game like this where the opposing team's quarterback has had so much hype from word one at the beginning of the season, you quietly come in and have a great year? Well, I mean, I started off slow. You know, I'm coming around little by little, but uh, Danny started off uh, great. I mean, he's done well throughout the year. I mean, he's, he's up for the highs, and I'm, I mean, I'm not going out there to have a, I mean, have a quarterback competition with him. I'm, we're both going out there to try to win, help our teams win. Charlie Ward, who I know is a good friend of yours, playing for the New York Knicks as their point guard now. You've had a chance to talk to him. What has he told you leading up to this game? Well, basically, just, he just wants me to stay calm and just go out and just play well and not worry about all the hype. And just do the things I've been doing in the past. And I guess I've learned a lot from living with him my freshman year. All right, what do you guys do tonight to stay relaxed for tomorrow? Well, uh, personally, I'm going to do the same thing. We're go we, go we go out of town before the games and kind of get together as a team and just kind of relax. And I mean, we don't do anything special. I mean, I mean, besides go out of town and just relax and try to get to bed a little early and dream about the game. You've had some bumps and bruises the last few weeks. Are you okay for the game tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be fine. I mean, uh, I had a I broke my wrist in the Georgia Tech game and then Last week, I mean, I, I sprained my MCL, so I mean, I, it, it didn't bother me any this week. I went through all the practices, shouldn't have any problem. All right, guys, thanks for joining us, and good luck tomorrow. And one of the reasons this is such a huge game, if you go back over the past several seasons, Florida State and Florida right up there in the tops. Florida State number one, followed by Nebraska, Florida, Miami, and Colorado. All four of these teams, or rather there's five there, but take up Miami. Four of the teams you will see right here on ABC over the weekend. And coming up next... We will take you out to the next big game, Colorado and Nebraska. Winner of this game goes on to the Big 12 championship game against Texas or Texas Tech. Another huge game right here on a big weekend on ABC. Yesterday's antifreeze coolants don't offer today's multi-metallic engines enough corrosion protection from extreme hot and cold. They need Xerox with its one-of-a-kind patented formula, not just to protect radiators, but also water pumps and cylinder heads. So use Xerex. Otherwise, your engine could be extremely unprotected. Xerex. Extreme protection for today's engines. Sad, isn't it? Finding out you paid too much for your stereo. Circuit City, you can't find a lower price. We guarantee it. Togetherness. Cool, huh? Number one in the nation behind quarterback Danny Warfel, who is likely going to walk away with the Heisman Trophy. A terrific season, but tomorrow, right here on ABC Sports, he goes up against the number one defense in the nation. 
the Florida State Seminoles. And welcome, everyone. John Saunders, Todd Blackledge, and Bob Greasy. And as we take a look at, at this matchup, a couple of ex-quarterbacks, you, you obviously have great feeling for the guys who are on the field tomorrow. Well, two pretty good quarterbacks. And, Bob, I guess the question I have about Danny Werfel, Florida, last year, they went undefeated. Their same starting offensive line all the way through the year. Now, this year, this will be their sixth different starting unit up front. What does that mean for Danny Werfel? Well, he's got to be concerned in talking to Spurrier about it. He was concerned about it, too. But I think this game, I mean, a lot of quick passing, I think. I think the game's going to boil down to quarterbacks and wide receivers, defensive ends and defensive backs. I think the running backs, I don't think the running game is going to be very involved in it, and I don't think the linebackers. I think it's going to be a throwing game. Now, John was here a little bit ago with Thad Busby. He's a young guy who's getting better each week out. What does he have to do as the quarterback for Florida State for them to win? I think, I think he's going to have to have the game of his life for Florida State to win, unless there's a bunch of turnovers in the game. I don't think that Florida State is going to be able to run the football, and I think that Thad's going to have to be able to get the ball out to his receivers, and they're going to make some big plays. We all know Florida State has the great defense, number one in the country, but I think a big difference in Florida this year, their defense is much better than the defense that they had last season. Bob Stoops making a huge yeah. difference. That one coming up tomorrow, but again, plenty of great college football here on ABC. Coming up next, Colorado against Nebraska. Winner goes on to the Big 12 Championship. Let's check in with Brent Musburger. John, coach is excited. This is football weather. A little nip in the Lincoln air. Somebody's going to get hit in this ball game. Now, it should be a dandy. Obviously, Colorado comes in with that high-powered offense stick. And uh, Rick Neuheisel and his quarterback, Coy Detmer, if nothing else, they can move the football. Oh, no question. they got skilled receivers. And Ray Carruth can get deep on anybody. Uh, they have a good offensive line. They run enough to keep you honest. The draws and the screens, a uh, wide-open offense and extremely well-coached. Now, on the other side of the ball, however, sits one of the finest defenses we've ever seen here at Nebraska. Now, keep in mind, the linebacker Terrell Farley will not be playing because of a suspension. I suppose if you're a Colorado fan, you say to yourself, that's good because Arizona State beat Nebraska earlier this year when Farley was not on the field. But let me remind Colorado fans that there are fellows out there like Grant Wistrom, Jared Tomich. Dick, they don't come any better than those two defensive ends. No, they're the best pair of defensive ends rushing the passer that we've seen all year. And they do a good job against the run, too. They can run you down if you try to run away from them. Uh, the linebacker inside, Hess moving inside out on the ball extremely well, secondary covering well, though the secondary will be challenged more than ever before. I know through the years, you've had great respect for Tom Osborne. Now, no Rick Neuheisel, he's a bright young coach at Colorado, but doesn't Osborne have an experience factor here that could play a role, Dick? Well, there's no way that Rick Neuheisel could be exposed to as many things as Tom Osborne has been exposed to in his career. And you'd like to think that's an advantage. And, but I'll tell you this, Rick Neuheisel is an outstanding young football coach, and we wouldn't want to hold it against him just because he's young. He'll, he'll be very competitive. John, also, everybody should keep one thing in mind. I know there's all that talk about Florida, Florida State, but the winner of this game remains very much in the race for a national championship. Indeed, because the loser of the game tomorrow is likely going to be out of that race. Now, how do you see this matchup? Well, it's going to be a premier matchup. The two premier teams in the Big 12, and when you look at the matchup, you got to start with the running game. And in the running game, I give the edge to Nebraska. Amon Green, he leads a trio of very talented eye backs for Nebraska. Now, keep this number in mind. Nebraska has won 74 straight games when they rush for over 300 yards. Passing game, the edge goes to Colorado. They stretch you with their speed all over the field, and Coy Detmer is a terrific competitor for the Buffaloes. Defense, I give the nod to Nebraska. They're ranked in the top seven in all four major categories, and the number one Huster defense has only allowed five touchdowns this season. The special teams, another area where Nebraska gets a big edge. They outperform Colorado in every category, and they've had seven block kicks this season. Big plays off the special team. Turnovers. Colorado is even in the turnover ratio. Nebraska, a plus 13. Scott Frost, only three interceptions. Experience is even. Both teams have outstanding senior classes and good leadership. The momentum, Colorado has won 10 straight on the road, but Nebraska, 35 in a row at home, four straight over Colorado. I give the overall edge to Nebraska. I think they've got too much for the Buffaloes in Lincoln. Bob, would you agree that Nebraska at home is very tough to stop? Tough to beat at home, and I think Charlie McBride, uh, the defensive coordinator for Nebraska, is going to get after Coy Detmer. Coy's got to get the ball to those wide receivers. Like you said, they're outstanding, but uh, Charlie McBride has a way of getting after the opposing quarterback. All right, another one of the great games we will have here. Stick around. More of Abilene Halftime 96 after this.
Some of the most admired cars you'll see are owned by the guys who know cars best. They're ASC certified master mechanics. And the number one brand of motor oil these guys use in their own cars and trucks is Valvoline, makers of DuraBlend, the leading semi-synthetic for a cleaner engine due to better control of harmful deposits. So use the oil the mechanics who take care of your car use to take care of theirs. Valvoline. People who know use Valvoline. He's too weak to talk. I'll try a long-lasting Duracell battery. Wow, it's great to be back! Hey, I just flew in from the coast, and boy, are my wings tired. <laughs> Actually, I'm strong as an ox. All right, a horse. Okay, a parrot. But a boom, but a bing! Oh, baby, oh, I'm killing myself. But seriously, I love you people. You're beautiful. The copper top. No battery is stronger, longer. The doctor sent me home sick. My wife said flu. I said flu. I walked. You want to play sport at an NCAA Division I or II school? You must be certified by the NCAA Initial Eligibility Clearinghouse. Get one of these student release forms from your coach or guidance counselor and send it to the clearinghouse. Remember, if you're not certified, you can't compete as a freshman in Division I or II. For more information, call toll-free 800-638-3731. Want to play? No to rules. This message provided by the NCAA. Valvoline Halftime 96 Brought to you by Valvoline The number one choice of America's top mechanics People who know use Valvoline your second half is coming up in just a moment. We talked about Colorado and Nebraska, winner of that game going on to the Big 12 championship. Texas, if they win, they are in. If A&M wins, it's Texas Tech. James Brown trying to ensure his squad gets there. Well, James Brown really playing a lot better football here in the second half of the season. In the ball game today, the first half, 10 of 20, 194 yards and a touchdown. On the other side, Brandon Stewart, only three completions for 17 yards. So a clear advantage in the quarterback position for Texas. 17 to 9 with the second half still to come. We want to remind everyone, catch up on the most up-to-date college football news and bowl updates, log on to America Online. Keyword is ABC Sports. And the second half is coming up next after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Every holiday, millions come to a very special place. They come for what they know they'll find and for some new ideas that may surprise them. And of course, they come for help with their mailing needs. Priority mail takes two to three days. Express mail delivers overnight, even on Christmas Day. The place, your post office. Where more than ever, we're helping you handle the holidays. Good morning. Ty Kirby. Room 426. Hello, Ty Kirby. Wants to survive his first interview. Oh, rubbish. Sit up straight. Don't talk too much. Good day to you, Mr. Kirby. Good luck, sir. Good. My lucky shoes. Hello? I'm Ty Kirby. I'm ready. Marriott. When you're comfortable, you can do anything. Wednesdays are changing. Brilliant. They're rearranging. Your favorite comedies on ABC. All right. Grace under fire kicks off an age. Wow. Then tell me's Andrew Carey show and Helen make it. Hey, I'm in on that. Wednesdays are changing on ABC. Catch new episodes of your favorite shows at their brand new times. Wednesday right here on ABC. Welcome to Ridgecrest, California. Ideal proving ground for the Sony Discman with ESP. We developed ESP technology to absorb shocks and bumps and help prevent your CDs from skipping. Then we brought it here to the earthquake capital of the world, where it proved to be a resounding success. Next stop, New York City potholes. It's a Sony. The Sony Discman, available at Incredible Universe. We're the store for sports and outdoors. Academy, the right stuff, the right price. Academy, the place for athletic shoes that make great holiday gifts. Shoes for every sport in all the latest styles. All the right brands, too, like Nike, Fila, Reebok, Adidas, and Vans. Come into Academy and you'll find the right gift, the right price for everyone on your list who loves sports and outdoors. The right stuff, the right price. 
clock is ticking. On your Texas Ford dealer's year-end clearance, save almost $1,900 on a Ford Mustang. Or check out the great savings on Ford Contour, Thunderbird, and Crown Victoria. Or drive a new Ford Escort for just $179 a month. And America's best-selling car, Ford Taurus, comes with a $500 rebate or 3-9 financing. And you can get no payments till March when you finance through Ford Motor Credit. So hurry to the year-end clearance before time runs out. South Central, a Channel 13 premiere, tonight at 11 on ABC 13.